Okay, I would like to quickly wrap up my little bridge demo here because the last video got a little long um, by showing you how to sort your images. I'll show you a couple different ways to sort them and then I'll show you how to use the keywords to find specific images that might meet your criteria for a project or some sort of image that you need for a project. And then I'll show you how to launch Photoshop and I'll talk about some reasons why you might want to do that. Um, first, the way that the images are sorted right now uh, which means the order in which they're displayed on the screen is based on the star rating by default. If you go to the view menu, um, you need to select the images. If you go to the view menu and choose sort, you can choose to sort them by keywords, rating, label, color profile, by resolution, and different things. And so by default, it was by rating. And so you may have noticed in the previous video, anytime I put a star rating on a picture, it kind of put it in a different order. And so down in the bottom right hand corner, all the five star pictures appear, and then the four star, and then the three star, and then the two star, etc. If I was to change it to the labeling, that's the coloring that I gave you. And so again, we have to go to the bottom to see that. And they're all grouped together. So all the red ones are the bad ones in my mind. Um, they're all grouped together and I could go find all the green ones. Um, if we choose to sort by keywords, it's a little bit more complicated because you can't see the keywords um, by default. But one thing that you can do is you can right click on one of your keywords in the keywords panel or pane and you can choose to find. And from this dialog box, you can look in source images, that's the folder I'm in, and you can look for keywords that contain wood. All right, and if I choose find, it will show me just the pictures that have a keyword that have been assigned wood. And so if I was trying to find a really cool wood grain pattern for the back of a postcard or something that I was designing, I could look at this and say, that's the picture I wanna use. I really like that picture. Or better yet, if I had 500 images that were keyworded with wood, I could go through and I could say this one and this one and this one, they'll work for my project, but this one and this one and this one won't. And I could then rate and label them accordingly and have uh, and use that uh, technique to be able to narrow down my choice for which image would work. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you is the ability to launch programs from Bridge. And so let's say that this is the, pro this is the file I wanna use for my project. I'm gonna use it for the background or something or some texture. Uh, once I find it, if I choose Tools and Photoshop, you'll see different things that you could launch Photoshop for. So you could batch process. I have one picture selected, so it wouldn't do much because I have to select more. You could create a contact sheet, which I'm going to show you because I think it's pretty cool. If you select all the images, I'll select all the wood images. You can choose Tools, Photoshop, and you can create a contact sheet. I'm going to leave all the default settings because that's not really what I'm trying to demo right now. But I just want to show you, it kind of looks like, uh, it doesn't kind of, it looks like a photo contact sheet that you might make if you were a photographer. Let's switch off of the crop tool. And by default, it gave me the file name and a little picture. And so what you could do is you could sort all the wood images. Let's say that you're working with someone and they said, I need you to find the right image. You would create a contact sheet. You could take this to them and say, which image do you want to use for the project? And they could circle the ones that are appropriate. And then you could come back and you could work on them. Close out of that. You can also go to Tools Photoshop and you can do lens corrections and different things like that. The photo merge is pretty cool. Um, if you have a panorama and you have three pictures in a sequence that you want to make a panorama out of, um, you could uh, use that to create that. Um, you can also load files into one document as layers. And so let's say that I wanted to use this picture and this picture and this picture all in the same project. I could choose Tools Photoshop and I could load files into Photoshop as layers. You have to be careful when you do this though. Um, you have to be careful when you do that though because if the images aren't the same size, weird stuff can happen. And so if I go to the layers panel, I now have three layers and my pictures are all the same size because they came off the same camera, so it's not a huge deal. And then last but not least, the easiest way to launch Photoshop or to open a picture in Photoshop from Bridge is to right click on it and choose open with. And then you can say, I need to edit this in Photoshop. So please open this photo in Photoshop. Um, you may get a prompt that says the color profile of this doesn't match the one you set. And as I'm gonna repeat 
every single lecture from now until the end of the semester, I would like you to make sure you're using the Adobe RGB 1998 color profile. And so because I set that as my default, I'm going to say convert this to the document colors workspace. And then I'm immediately file save as, going to save a copy of this as a Photoshop file because that is a JPEG, which I don't want to edit in. And also I want to make sure I am editing in Photoshop files.